Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Tomb Raider. I am Dewey once again. Again, my sympathies go out to Zach, his brother. The way out of here was right below them. His brother has not get, been getting any better. Um, so, again, I know you guys probably miss him. Zach is an awesome addition to any kind of walkthrough. So, show him some support. Tell him that you miss him. Tell him that you want to see him back. Or, you know, you could just say you hate him if you don't want to see him back and you love me that much. So, you can do that too. Um, things don't shape up uh, for him soon. I can, I, if you guys are interested, I can maybe see about getting. Uh, a guest commentator on here. That bell should do it. Uh, either Raymond or Tom. I think Tom would be the more likely of the two because I know that Raymond wants to play this game and uh, he would not want to spoil it for himself jumping in the middle here. So we got a little bit of a mini puzzle here. Um, when you open up these rafters, a big gush of wind comes in as you see right here. Um, and uh, what you need to do is you need to destroy it behind us there are two pillars that we need to destroy. Um, the actual best way to work is to close one of the rafters. Well, the only way you can really get it to work is you need to have only one rafter open at a time. Use your little bow to uh, string that guy back. And so since I have the, the other, that rafter open on the right side to our current position, that'll swing over and break that. Then you open up this one and go close the other one. Do the same thing. And, uh, and then it'll break the other thing. The other, I don't know, what, what do you call it? Pillar, I guess. Support. Gonna kill the other support. Because um, what we're trying to do is trying to find a way out of here. And the best way to do that is apparently to get the bell to break through the flooring. And now we have people here. Oh god, look at this. Oh, damn things falling apart. Oh god, where are they coming from? Where are they shooting? Where? What are you doing here, buddy? Oh man, what are you? This guy. He's gone all samurai on us. Look at this. Oh god. No, Laura. You are not meant for melee combat. Oh god. Laura, run away. Run away. Let's use a. Hey, how's it going? We'll just use a couple shots of a shotgun on you instead. He's like. He thought it was gonna be all fair and we're gonna battle him with an axe. But uh, we pulled out the shotgun and say, uh, yeah, we don't believe in fairness. We believe in winning. This is war, son. Even though I think these guys were here first, so we're kind of like invading them. We're the uh, the America of this given situation. I've got to get out of here. No, we want we want that open. That bell should do it. But before we get out of here, you know, we have to loot all the bodies because I mean, we killed you. We're not we're, we're not going to just not dishonor you and uh, leave your bodies be. We need to defile them. And look at that! We found a bow part. That's awesome, right? I want to upgrade my bow. All right, ready for some adventure time with a bit of Laura Croft. Uh oh, she just fucking loves falling. Loves it. Run! We got a pony chasing us and everything's falling apart. Not looking good for us. Definitely not looking good. Slow mo. So it's just like it's another one of these action sequences. You gotta make sure you jump down the right time. Oh jeez. Oh hallway. It gone bonkers! It turned the wrong way. What's going on? Oh, we just look like a semi-safe bridge to jump on down here. Oh god. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. I would never want to do that. If you guys haven't, um, go watch the Conan O'Brien. Uh, he did a, a review of Tomb Raider, in which he played a couple parts of Tomb Raider and just did a video on it. Uh, it's really funny. It is really funny. Definitely go check that out. Um, he, uh, he's not one for many video games, and uh, I think this one shocked him in a couple ways. <laughs> Oh, oh God, Laura, it's good to hear your voice. 
Sorry. Yours too, Sam. Is the rest of the crew with you? The, no. I just managed to steal this radio off a guard. A guard? I've been kidnapped. What? Where are you? I don't know. Some old Japanese palace. They keep talking about a, a fire ritual. Laura, I'm fucking terrified. Shit, someone's coming. I've got to hide this thing. Sam? Sam! A ritual, like the mural in Himiko's tomb. Roth, are you there? I'm heading towards the palace. The other is being held there too. I'll catch up to you when we can go in together. Well then, um, that's not good. Everyone's captured uh, by, we're not exactly sure, could be Matthias, could be these Japanese guys. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. What were those things in the monastery? They were dressed like the storm guard, and the sounds they made almost inhuman. Shit, just listen to yourself, Lara. You sound like dad. It's like they're the remnants of some lost civilization. Okay, now I really sound like dad. All I know is they killed those men, and I have a feeling they wouldn't hesitate to kill me too. I can't think about this now. Sam's in trouble, and I've got to get her back. She's counting on me. Well, then. I know I, I've been telling you this whole time about wanting to take, uh, take that fitness perk, but for the purposes of the walkthrough, I'm taking the able to find things in, like, in, in the environment, um, just so that way, uh, when I pass by something... I can find it for you guys, and it's not, um, it's that way you guys can find it, you don't need to take these skills. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's why I do not take the fitness, the, I think it was advanced killer or something like that. Um, accomplished killer, I believe. Upgrade the shotgun, because I mean, that thing wasn't OP enough already. Five out of ten lore journals read. We're like halfway there, guys. Halfway there. Now here's another moment which demonstrates uh, two different ways in which you can approach your target. Um, you can either choose to go take this upward path that I am heading towards, or you can go down that uh, that little path over there, I believe. I actually don't know if that's true, because I just always like taking upper path, so I haven't experimented with the lower path. Um, I'm pretty sure that's true. Now, I see that shrine down there, but I also see the waterfall, so I really don't want to, like, you know, die. Um, but look at that. The water, the water wasn't strong enough, apparently, so we were, we're good. Come on, Laura, you got this. Light that fire. Yeah, there we go. Appease Himiko by lighting her statues. We can just be like, Himiko, sister. I mean, come on, let's settle down here. I've been honoring you by lighting your statues throughout this island. Uh, let's not get mad. Just come on my side, not this crazy Matthias guy. Um, unless you want sacrifices. I'm not cool with that. And of course, I would shoot the damn arrow behind a pole. God damn it. What? Why don't you investigate the arrow that dropped right by you, dude? Oh, come on. What the? You saw nothing, dude. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, I wonder if I can. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Upwards path. Yeah. I always have the advantage of. Uh, Thing above people. Sweet. Found a rifle part. Upgrade that rifle. And now I believe you can upgrade each thing three times, maybe four times. I'm not sure. I th I'm pretty sure the bow has at least four times. Um, 
and it will automatically upgrade for you uh, once you reach certain parts in the storyline. Um, so, but I mean, it's it's always good to get a, a more powerful bow a little bit quicker, right? So, never never stop to not loot salvage because salvage could have a little bit more beneficial reward for you than simply salvage. You could find a bow part, a gun part, something of that nature. Look at all these old pots and everything that just, you know, lying all over the place. It's it's always sad because this happens a lot in, like, modern-day civilization where you'll find something that's really old and really cool and you want to preserve it, but then modern-day people, or not even modern-day people, but, you know, less ancient people have come and just, like, taken it over. Um, oh, I see something shiny. Am I going to pick it up? Let's pick it up. Pick up the shiny thing? No, no, okay. We'll just ignore the shiny thing. Yeah, but they just, like, completely trample over all of the stuff, and, you know, it just doesn't look as cool anymore. So, I don't know, it's kind of sad. I'm a little possibly worried about there might be somebody in here. Oh, God. That was close. Are you there? I'm here, Sam. Are you okay? What do they want with me, Laura? A fire ritual? This is so fucked up. Listen, I'm coming to get you. I'm going to get you out of there. Please, please help me, Laura. I promise. I promise, Sam. Hey, she just... Oh, no! Sam? No! Sam? Oh. Help me, Sam! Please, Sam, you no! found the stairway! No! Oh, Time to go save our lady friends. Or not. <laughs> um, so, you know, of course, whenever, in any kind of video game, when you're in a hurry, uh, well, you gotta get the GPS marker. You, you're hurry to do something. You always want to do other things to deny the game the pleasure of rushing you. But, that's for next time. That's for next time. <laughs> Somewhere it must be.